There we are. We get to fight the green dragon. Approaching Thorgard Keep, a green dragon appears on the far side of the keep. Enraging your mount, you attempt to restrain your dragon, almost certain the small green is merely bait. Javi, yes, we're gaining on them. Okay, now, it's worth noting that it's a bit of spoiler here, uh, let's say if you're... Here's Thorgard Keep, the realm of the realm of is bait. Dungeon Master Light and the prisoner. He is not going to be alone. Let's just take a shot at Dargard Keep just for the heck of it. Doesn't acknowledge him if it flew over. Oh no, he got it! We can't destroy Lord Sot's home. Then who will be bad arts and impress Spoonie? Oh, Krell. Here we go. Here we go. All right. The green dragons are a deceptive lot. Their breath, chlorine gas. Which of the lifeguard is something with which I am rather familiar? What I ideally want to do is draw one or more of them out. This is rather treacherous terrain. But you notice that the clouds don't move the way the fire does, or the lightning. That is worth noting when it comes to dealing with the greens. It's almost like a screen of sorts. Oh no! Okay, good. something. There are so many of them there. All right. Wasn't sure whether this was gold alone or not. Wow. Yeah, that's the, the problem is, of course, yes, you're not going to be easily chased by the clouds of, of uh, coin gas. They act as a sort of screen for the dragons. So when you shoot them, frost, acid, fire, and lightning all chase you, but the greens cloud acts as a smoke screen, as you would imagine for something flying at high speed. Chlorine gas is going to be more to stay put. Well, together. Wow, these guys are with all their breath weapons. Presumably they'll all dodge that one. Armada of green dragons defending his fell keep. I think 
I may have hit one, but I haven't killed any yet. Also, this is one place you want to stay high in your altitude. Because if one does not, one will find oneself crashing into the sides of cliffs. That is highly undesirable. on staying together. All right, I finally got one and I narrowly avoided a face full of chlorine gas. That's nice. When you get your first kill on a dragon, even if uh, it death immediately follows, um, at least you can say, like Homer Simpson, at least I got them as bad as they got me. Long, very old memories of this mission. From playing the gold dragon. Because as um, you saw from Maelstrom, the bronze ends with that. keeps going. The silver gives me the ooh. <laughs> the silver gives me the sword and the armor. Most works. Uh, okay. Got another one. I mentioned in an earlier mission, my dad is a military history buff, and uh, he does acknowledge crimes of war, even committed against the Nazis. Try breathing. Close to a cloud of corn gas, so I'll keep moving on. Whites get to appear in two missions. The greens get, as far as I recall, only one. It's not easy being green. They were also the only chromatic dragon that did not get its own D&D icon. Great Wyrm released last decade. I think I've only got two greens left. I think, fortunately, though, third edition being the most um, versatile, 
and that's the addition of unity with the greatest potential. taken up even after it changed fourth and now fifth edition as Pathfinder and Pathfinder has its own line of miniatures which did eventually make a gargantuan green mm -hmm. takes more than a simple lure to bait an experienced and skilled dragon rider such as yourself, and your cautious pass over Dargard Keep saved you from a likely fatal ambush. Their advantage of surprise lost, the ancient green dragons were defeated, and thus you were able to liberate the precious good dragon eggs from the keep. Though you've had more glorious victories facing fiercer odds, the successful rescue of the dragon eggs is more rewarding to you than any trophy of combat. more left for the Silver Dragon campaign, but I wouldn't be getting healing if this was the end, presumably. The Siege of Calamon. Not bad at all. 